business. Go on. I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy whenever anyone's savage like this. Just look at the poor creature. She's been beaten to the brink of death. The Fae may be strange, but they certainly don't deserve this. It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade. Likely a dagger, although there's no way I can be sure. People simply stood by as she called for help. No one lifted a finger. Can you imagine? It's shameful to treat another in such a way, even if she is a Fae. I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat such a wound. Frankly, I don't even know if I could save a mortal with such grievous wounds. It's difficult to say. We've been plagued by the Red Legion for days. But it's not their way to go after the Fey in the area. They like their targets mortal. In case you haven't heard, there have been some Tuatha sighting in the woods to the west. So that's also a possibility. It's unlikely, though. Well, you're the only one. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. I'm going to suggest something a bit... Uh, untraditional. There's a fae named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Seek her wisdom. I would do it, but... I am a coward. That's the truth. Perhaps a fae will know how to heal a fae. If not, then we're back where we started. She spends her days in the precipice overlooking the village. She doesn't think we're aware of her presence, but we most certainly are. I've spent most of my life dealing with them, but they aren't like us. Not at the core. They don't know what it means to be a man who sweats to feed his family. Goreheart has become a sort of refuge for those settlers who wish to live a life free of Fey. I don't see that lasting. Not with the war. Not with everything changing. Hope you stay in town. Stay alert. Bandits are everywhere. Oh. Oh. I heard that one of the monks attacked someone. I thought they were holy men. Hello there. Are you here for a weapon? Going to earn a lord's favor in this ridiculous war, are you? We here in Goreheart are far from the front, and deliberately so. Our hearts may be with the Alpha, but our bodies stay here, safe on the other side of Dalentarth. We've seen our fair share of dead. The truth is, we have as many cemeteries as we do settlements. So long.
welcome. Welcome to Goreheart, the last settlement before the Feylands. How can I fill your pack today? Yes, what do you need? Come see me again. Stay close to the village. You there! Do you feel nauseous? Itchy? Have you noticed any blood leaking from your eye sockets? I've been noticing the symptoms everywhere. No, this situation could not be any worse. If the Red Legion is involved, then we could all be staring death in the face. What have I done? Why ask questions when you could never understand the answers? It's clear your prowess is not with wit, but with a weapon. If you must know, something of value has been stolen. An alchemical formula that, if released, could cause untold devastation. I see its symptoms everywhere. Only my apprentice, Karth, and I knew of my work on the formula, but he's gone missing as well. I do not deserve such goodwill after what I've engineered. If disaster occurs in Odorath, it will be on my head. I'm not sure where Karth may have gone, but I knew that before he came to me, he found shelter in the ancient chambers of Agnurfar Hall, an Irathi ruin east of Gorhart. Once you've ensured Karth's safety, you must learn what's happened to my formula. When you do, destroy it. It's the only way to keep us safe. He always spoke of his time as a wastrel living in the abandoned halls of Agnurfar Hall, the Arathi Ruin. People say it's haunted, but people say many things. Goodbye. Supplies.
nice to see you. Yes, what do you need? Goodbye. Yes, what do you need? Goodbye.
Yes, what do you need? Come see me again. Welcome to Goha. A stool, stranger. We don't have much, but what we have won't leave a hole in your pocket. Are you here about that Fay girl they found outside? <laughs> Hi. Hello. Times are hard, but hard times can pay if you're willing to take risks. If you have the sword and stomach for this sort of work, we could use another strong arm among the warsworn. Some may try to color it with fancy words, but we're warriors for hire, the best in these lands. You'll find those who have taken the oath are held in the highest respect all over Amalur. Think if you must. If I'm not here, you could take your chances with old Tyne in Shield Ring Keep without my endorsement. He'll set you to work. See Nanny for alchemical goods. Stay indoors after the Don't believe Father Dinwell when he tells you that Mitharu was male. Mitha Welcome to St. Odwig's perpetual mission. I would invite you in, but the Order has been too trusting in the past. We try to learn from our mistakes. Although, one never knows what might be a test of faith. You have arrived just when I am in need of aid. So perhaps Mitharu is at work. We at St. Odwig's have worked for years to establish a presence on this hill. It's not been without its challenges. The call of the Feylands does not fall upon deaf ears, and many of our youngest don't have the will to resist. Take Brother Egan, for example. Two nights ago, Egan ventured past the walls to collect firewood and never returned. We must find him before anything happens. Mitharu be praised. His order reigns supreme. Brother Egan was last seen northeast of here, just off the road near the Fey ruins. Please find him. Perhaps then we can welcome you into the fold with open arms. Egan was last seen in the woods outside the walls, just north of the village. Goodbye. Mitharu believes in justice. 
Inequality in order. What order is there when few choose to subjugate the many? Help me to expose the mission for what it truly is. A prison of ideas in which they hope to keep us locked away forever. But I tell you, your mind must not be caged. What are you doing down here? Don't you know Agna Farhold is haunted by the spirits of the Arathi? So? Are you foolish or just stupid? Oh, I see. The Twisted Gnome has found herself a champion. How delightful. Nanny always was a fool. So immersed in her work that she failed to see the deception before her very eyes. The Red Legion has her formula, because I gave it to them. At this very moment, they are moving crates of it eastward towards the city of Rathir, where they will fetch a high price. Poor Nanny. So trusting, so pathetic. Of course she can never learn of my ruse, can she? It is time.
Thank <laughs> you. 
In the country of Nirilim's embrace, the summer manifests as an immortal fay. You know her, him, it, as the resplendent warrior or the ardent conqueror. You mortals named him King Issa. In the youth of your people's memory, you bore witness to Issa's exploits. He is your legend of might and eminence. Come, listen to a tale of Issa and old. The Withering Wall. Legs are cruel. They will not help. No! I am cast! You believe me? Many think I am just another two legs. They are wrong. I am a wolf, cursed to wear this shape by evil sprites as some cruel game. I still have wolf thoughts in my head. But two-leg bodies are so clumsy, they can't even catch dumb meat birds. I must be changed back. The sprites are near. Even now I smell them. But I cannot fight in this form. Will you help, two legs? Thank you, two legs. But the task will not be easy. I need water from a magic well, guarded by the sprites that cursed me. Be warned, the sprites have much magic, for the well they guard is older than this wood, and from that they draw their power. The sprites guard the well, which is near the river to the north. Beware them, they have much magic. Return swiftly. <gasps> <gasps>
Throughout the town, they stood in fear of the brilliant fighter near.
Everyone in Gorhart is talking about the attacks. They say that the Red Legion is receding back into the shadows from whence they came. It is all thanks to you. You found the formula and destroyed it. Now, you may think you understand the impact of this act, but you truly do not. You are a friend to this village and to me, Nani Hanri. Take this. It is not much, but it gives you an idea of my gratitude. Farewell. May your hollow gods keep you mortal. I am called Eri. 
Your face is new to me. You're different from those in Gorhart. They amuse me, and I strive to learn all I can from them. Have you come to ask about the Tuatha? I can offer only what I know, and hope it will suffice. Yes, I witnessed this crime, although I did not recognize the one who perpetrated it. It is often difficult to distinguish one mortal from another. The victim was Eluvia, but I knew her only by name. You must be hoping that I can offer advice, but I cannot. If she is meant for the Great Cycle, then so be it. However, I would be quite interested to find out whether one of my kind would benefit from one of your mortal remedies. I've always wondered. It will need to be powerful. Your delicate forms are far more sensitive than ours. In fact, it's astounding that you survive as long as you do. Perhaps your mortal apothecary can provide one. You can always create the potion yourself if you possess the skill. Farewell. Oh, my God. 